Hello, everyone. JDev has returned once again to give you all exactly what you wanted, and that's, of course, me doing another Season 1 Dexter recap video. But before I get into that, if you're a fan of Dexter, please like or thumb up this video, depending on what means you're watching it through, whether it be YouTube or Facebook. Make sure you share it. Make sure you favorite it. Make sure you subscribe if you're not subscribed yet. I don't care if you don't, though. That's fine. Uh, and definitely make sure you leave a comment. That way we can keep the discussion going since Dexter uh, is no longer on the air. Otherwise, it's just me talking to myself. So leave a comment. I would greatly appreciate it. And if you've never watched Dexter, I highly suggest that you do watch it. I'm not sure why you're watching this video, but go and start. you got to watch the whole first season, really. Uh, the first episode, the first couple of episodes, I don't know if you'll get hooked by then, but definitely by the end of the first season, you should be hooked and ready to go for season two. That would be my thought on it, but you might be different. Who knows? Anyways, spoilers ahead, so if you haven't watched it, you've been warned. All right, Dexter, season one, episode number six. The title of the episode is Return to Sender, and it was, it was an entertaining episode. Uh, we start the episode off with Dexter, with Rita, and the kids on the day of Aster's birthday. Uh, Dexter gets called in his cell, uh, asking him to return to Jorge Castile's uh, junkyard, where he just disposed of uh, Jorge and his wife, because he killed them. <laughs> so Dexter gets there, and he finds out that the ice truck killer uh, died 30 uh, meters below sea level and brought the corpse of Valerie Castile uh, back to the crime scene. So Dexter is freaking out. And in addition to that, to make the situation even more worse, they find out that there was a little boy in the trunk of a, a Mercedes Benz uh, that Dexter, of course, had no idea about. And Masuka found the needle prick on Valerie's neck that Dexter, you know, his trademark, and wants to investigate the list of suppliers uh, for that powerful anesthesia. So... Crazy stuff. Uh, Dexter also feels that his world of lies is falling apart. And nothing, of course, lasts forever. In addition to that, Paul, Rita's ex-husband, is released from prison and tells Rita that he will come to Aster's birthday party, uh, disturbing Rita with, you know, her family, you know, just reading the whole event. She takes an attitude to resolve the situation with her family of course, Dexter gets rid of his arsenal, but suddenly he discovers that the Ice Trip Killer is playing a prank with him, and he decides to, uh, you know, take care of some evidence to forge it in Masuka's computer. That way, it incriminates Jorge uh, Castellano, or Castile, I should say, not Castellano. It was, a, it was a good episode, though. I really liked it. You know, Dexter gets in serious trouble when the Ice Trip Killer plays a sick game with him, of course. But Rita... To her credit, uh, she shows that she's much stronger than you think she is because she fights her own battle with Paul and calls him up and yells at him and uh, shows that she's stronger and capable to fight and protect her daughter uh, as well as her son from a, you know, his crack, the cracked husband and whatnot. Deborah also proves uh, she is an excellent detective uh, developing the perfect profile of a criminal. Of course, Dexter has to destroy all that to save himself. And La Guerta, through the episode, is dealing with the little Cuban boy. And I think she felt some, some serious love for that little boy. And at the end of the episode, it's really cool. They, uh, the boy is doing like a, you know, they're drawing a description of the, the person that the boy saw. And at the end of the episode, they show the picture is a picture of essentially Jesus Christ. So, his Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. So that's the episode. Again, it was entertaining. It was good. I'm going to give it an 8.8 .8 out of 10, as I, I did really like it. The show is, is moving really well, of course. I already know what's going to happen, but for people that haven't seen the show yet, it's really exciting. And there's moments where it's a little slower, but I think Dexter doesn't have like really, really slow episodes. There's always something going on. So 8.8 .8 out of 10. Really enjoyed it, and of course, I hope you enjoyed it. So make sure you do what I said. Like the video, and if you want to dislike the video, that's fine too. Go ahead, at least it's some sort of reaction, and make sure you leave a comment. Whatever you want to talk about. 
If you haven't seen the show specifically, that would be cool too. But if you want to, you know, leave whatever comments you want. And of course, I'll be back again soon with another. Peace.